All right, guys, this is gonna be a quick uh, teardown look at the CYC X1 Pro. Um, so I'm in the process of upgrading the original um, clutch bearing to the beefier um, bearing. So this is upgraded. I have the one of the first production batches with the smaller bearing. And supposedly this one is the part that fails under high power. I haven't had any issues with it failing, but since I'm in the process of installing it onto my um, bike again, I'm just going to go ahead and install this newer upgraded part. So taking a look at this is very easy to take apart. Um, just got to remove some screws that holds it on and everything just comes apart. Um, you got the little uh, key right here that locks that um, smaller gear, the smaller drive gear onto the shaft. And just closer look, I'm not sure if this, this was handmade this way, but it looks like that this key was um, getting a little bit marred up from the torque of this motor. You know, I take it for granted, I only put about 150 to 200 miles through my motor so far. The first 100 or so mile was on the street, um, going full throttle and, you know, pushing it. And the remainder of the uses, which is, you know, low power on the trail. So, um, but the key just looks like it's worn out. Or maybe this was just quickly handmade. But yeah, you can see it doesn't look like it's a good finish. But this, on the other hand, looks to be very good. You can see it's not even worn out. It looks brand spanking new, minus the grime and dirt that's been sticking up on here um, it's held on by a little c-clip this is the older part but you guys wouldn't have to worry how this will look but you can see this is the grease that comes with it um, this is the other side and this is the planetary gears inside it's got this black grease and just from my observation I can see it in person it's really hard to get the detail in camera but this grease looks very thick and it looks like some of it is clumping up. I'm not sure if this is just how the grease is designed or not. But it looks like some pretty thick nasty stuff. So over here is the motor. You can see all that grease that's been smeared on there. Um, the motor is right here. Feels pretty good. It's got a little bit of play on the shaft. You can see the shaft is not moving. But this little drive gear has a little bit of play. Um, I haven't taken it apart yet, but this closer look, it looks like there's another C-clip that holds on something. And then you just probably pop it right out. Let me see. I am able to move it, wiggle it, so it should come off pretty easy. But I haven't got that far yet. I just want to give you guys, um, you know, a closer look of how it actually looks inside. But yeah. This grease is pretty thick. I'm pretty sure if I clean it all out and use my own grease, I have some uh, grease from my RC car days. Oh, got already all dirty, but this is gear grease. It's some blue stuff, and this is what I use in my RC cars, and I still have it. I think it's still good, but um, this is what I had when I had when I was racing the little uh, short course, you know, one tenth scale cars, and that grease works really well. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work just as good on this one. This one is just super thick. If you guys are wondering what this this gear grease looks like it just looks like some standard you know blue grease it's a lot thinner than this guy maybe under load or something you know when you mix it up it'll get really thick like this but currently this is some nasty stuff it could be good grease I don't know maybe it's just that synthetic or that black grease so it could be specialty grease but yep just want to give you guys a quick video of how it looks um, hope you guys enjoyed it and then I'll be digging this taking this apart and uh, swapping it out